Many of us have faced a situation when, after many years of programs being installed on our precious computer, it starts taking so much time to load that during that time one can manage a lot of things that is make run across the ceiling. Those who are dissatisfied with the situation should draw their attention to solid state drivers SSD. These devices differ from hard disks in their mode of operation. They do not have moving elements and use microsocket chips of non-volatile flash memory to place data. Some SSDs are created on the basis of volatile memory, RAM SSD. These are used as flash core memory in large database management systems and high power graphic stations. But today we shall talk about non-volatile SSDs as substitution for hard drives. The first flash memory based solid state driver was introduced on the market by M Systems company in 1995. And since then, other companies such as Intel, Samsung Electronics, Toshiba, SanDisk, etc., have been actively developing the trend. The main advantage of SSDs is their speed. Reading and recording speed is slow speed and relatively cheap models is 150 to 200 megabytes per second. That of high end ones achieve 700 to 740 megabytes per second. Other advantages of SSDs are low power demand, total absence of noise from moving parts and coolers high mechanical durability, wide range of working temperatures, small size and weight. The disadvantages are high price, 1 gigabyte price is higher than $2 compared to with 8 cents in hard drives. Direct proportionality of SSD's price to the capacity while in hard drives, a gigabyte price decreases with capacity growth. A limited number of pre-recording cycles, about 1 million deletions. Until the recent time, Solid state drivers have been unaffordable to ordinary users, but now relatively cheap SSD models of 30 and more gigabytes have appeared on the market. They are not so fast as more expensive models. The problem of slow loading of computer individual programs will be solved. For that purpose, a fast speed SSD should be used as a system residence disk and also as a storage for high usage applications. The enormous gigabytes of indispensable data should be stored on a regular hard drive.